Anthony L. Elmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. What does God mean to you? In my personal case, I am a Buddhist and I have the greatest love and respect and devotion to God. I, it has taken me over 42 years to come to realize that the name of God is when I started to practice Buddhism, I realized that another thinking arrived, and that was what I call philosophy, um, more science of life. The words uh, that I was saying when I looked up to find out what am I saying? I know with the Lord's Prayer, I'm asking for help, you are the divine. Uh, but I needed something else more than that at the time. So. Practicing Buddhism took me beyond, beyond the Lord's Prayer into another form of prayer that took care of my daily needs at the time. It took care of um, really the stress. It verbalized that life is about stress and anger and all of the influences of life. It took care of those where at the time of doing the Lord's Prayer, I never really learned really what it meant except our Father who art in heaven, hallowed would be their name. Buddhism took me to another place, I feel, and as an older woman coming from a young girl. However, I still do both. I do the Lord's Prayer, and then I do my, my, my chanting. So, if there is anyone out there who have a criticism about the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, let it be told that we at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association consider Yoho Renge Kyo the name of God. Now, this is what happened. In my life, I learned that Yoho Renge Kyo, the name of God, See, I first learned Buddhism from the Japanese sense. That is, the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shu. What I did not understand was that these Japanese appropriated the name of God or Yoho Renge Kyo. The first thing you must understand about Yoho Renge Kyo is that you must examine Yoho Renge Kyo from the sphere of black culture, history, and language. Please understand that the Japanese who introduced the phrase Yoho Renge Kyo, or the title of the Sutra, did so from the realm of their Japanese history, culture, and language. Please understand that the original people who inhabited Japan were black people. The modern day Japanese culture look upon their black ancestry with a culture of assault. When you dig deep into Japanese culture, you will find that the Shogun of Japan, Sakanario no Takamaro, was a black man and black people are an intricate part of Japanese culture and history. The Japanese today hide this history. Now, let me get back to the phrase, Yoho Renge Kyo. The phrase Yoho Renge Kyo has a distinct black culture, history, and language. What the Japanese Buddhist teachers do not tell black people or what is not commonly known is that a black man, Shakyamuni Buddha, first chanted Yoho Renge Kyo. Please understand that language, history, and culture is important when you view things from the standpoint of cause and effect. See, the person who reintroduced Yoho Renge Kyo to the Japanese people was Nitrin Shonen, who did so on April 28, 
1253. Now, please understand that when Nitrin chatted Yohorenge Kyo, he did so some 2,000 years after Yohorenge Kyo was first chanted by Shakyamuni Buddha. Please look at Yohorenge Kyo from the standpoint of black history, culture, and language. Milo says the reason other sutras are called great but not Myo is simply that it is easy to cure those who have a mind, but difficult to cure those who are without a mind. Because it, the Lord of Sutra, can cure what is thought to be incurable, it is called Myo a wonderful. Does that not sound like a God to you? That's Myo. Now, the ghost show, the Damonku of the Lotus Sutra, or the title of the Lotus Sutra reads, quote, This Lotus Sutra, however, can cure the dead as well as the living. Therefore, it has the character Myo in its title. Myo Horinge Kyo. No, as you see, is another name for God. What else that you know that can cure the dead as well as the living other than a God? You see, in the ghost show, on attaining Buddhahood in this lifetime reads, quote, What then does Myo signify? It is the mysterious nature of life from moment to moment which the mind cannot comprehend or words express. When we look into our own mind at any moment, we perceive neither color nor form to verify that it exists. Yet we still cannot say that it does not exist for many different thoughts continually occur. The mind cannot be considered either to exist or not to exist. Life is indeed an elusive reality that transcends both words and concepts of existence and non-existence. It is neither existence nor non-existence, yet exhibits the qualities of both." Unquote. Now, the ghost show entity of the mystic law reads, quote, when the great teacher Nayue explain the five characters Myo Horinge Kyo he said quote Myo indicates that all living beings are Myo or mystic Ho indicates that all living beings are Ho or Love Renge or Lotus is a metaphor that's employed here it would seem that it would seem then it not that both Naye and Tentai interpret the lotus as a metaphor. Now, in the ghost show, the sacred teachings of the Buddha's lifetime reads, quote, regarding the words Yo Ho Renge Kyo, the profound meaning of the Lotus Sutra by Tentai says of the word Myo, the character Myo a wonderful is defined as being as being beyond ordinary comprehension. It also says to reveal the depths of the secret storehouse. This is called Myo a wonderful. It also says, quote, Myo means the finest of the sutras. It is the doctrine of the gate to sweet dew or nirvana. And therefore, it's called Myo. See, Myo is God. See, the Gold Show also reads, with regard to the word Ho, profound meaning says, what is meant by Ho is the ten worlds, the ten factors, existences that both provincial and true. And it also says, quote, 
to define the proper relationship between the provisional and the true, this is termed whole or law. Further, the Gosho reads, regarding the word Renge, profound meaning says the word Renge or lotus blossom is an analogy for whole or existence that are provisional and true, unquote. It also says, quote, to point to the original enlightenment attained by the Buddha in the far distant past, this is compared to Ren or Lotus, to clarify the perfect way of non-duality or provisional and true. This is compared to Gay or Blossom. Further it reads, with regard to the word Kyo, profound meaning says, quote, the voice carries out the work of the Buddha, and this is called Kyo or Sutra. Now, let's see if we can give you a better understanding. Now, the profound meaning sutra says, the voice carries the work of the Buddha. Now, the Gosho opening the eyes of painted images reads, quote, a person can know another's mind by listening to the voice. This is because the physical aspect reveals the spiritual aspect. The physical and spiritual, which are one in essence, manifest themselves as two distinct aspects. Thus, the Buddha's mind found expression as written words of the Lotus Sutra. These written words are the Buddha's mind found expression in written words of the Lotus Sutra. These written words are the Buddha's mind in a different form. Therefore, those who read the Lotus Sutra must not regard it as consistent of mere word, written words, for those words are in themselves the Buddha's mind. Unquote. See, this goes show further read. In this commentary, Tentai uses the term Buddha's mind to indicate that the Sutra itself, a physical entity, actually embodies the Buddha's spiritual aspect. Further it reads, because the Lotus Sutra manifests the Buddha's spiritual aspect, when one embodies that spiritual aspect in a wooden or painted image possessing 31 features, the image in its entirety becomes a living Buddha. Now, what this is explaining, ladies and gentlemen, is that the Lotus Sutra, when you relate, recite the Lotus Sutra into a physical object, that is like the eye-opening ceremony. That object becomes a living Buddha because the Lotus Sutra represents the spiritual aspect of the Buddha. It is actually the Buddha. Now, in regards to our lives, when we recite the Lotus Sutra or the title of the Lotus Sutra, we are encountering not just simple words, we are encountering the spirit of the Buddha itself. Now, what is the spirit of the Buddha? The spirit of the Buddha is the ultimate spiritual reality. The ultimate spiritual reality is another name for God. So when you chant Myoho Renge Kyo, you are tapping God or you are calling the name of God because the spirit of God or the spirit of the Buddha is Myoho Renge Kyo that was intoned or chanted by Shakyamuni Buddha. Now, the gift of rights reads, quote, The truth has 
lies and affairs of this world. The Golden Light Sutra states, quote, to have a profound knowledge of this world is itself Buddhism. The Nirvana Sutra states, quote, all non-Buddhist scriptures and writings in society are themselves Buddhist teachings, not non-Buddhist teachings. This means whether it's the Bible, whether it's the Quran, or whatever, it's all Buddhist teachings. And the essence of the Buddhist teachings is in the title, and the title of the ultimate spiritual reality of the Buddhist teachings is Myoho Rinke Kyo. Now, the Go Show, Propagation of the Wise, reads, quote, the correct teachings of the time can be propagated only by a person of wisdom. In the goal show, the sword of good and evil, Nitrin Shonen writes, quote, you must pray to the heavenly gods with all your heart. Now, in the goal show, concentration, the image of Shakyamuni Buddha reads, quote, now, if we consider what the Buddhist writings have to say, we may note that the Golden Light Sutra states, quote, the God of the sun and the God of the moon, because they listen to this sutra, are able to obtain vitality and abundance. And the Sovereign King Sutra states, quote, through the power of the Sutra King, these luminaries are able to circle the four continents. You see, it is the power of the Lotus Sutra that gives these gods power. Now, Nitrin Father states, he says, I, Nitrin, have put my trust in this deity and in this manner I have carried on my struggles in Japan over the past several years. Already I have the feeling that I have achieved victory. Such clear blessings can only be attributed to this deity. Now you have Nitrin Shonen who says his protection comes from a god or a deity. Now. The word Namu means reverence. It also means to awaken. It also means devotion. When you chant Namu Myoho Rinke Ko, you are calling the name of God. You are awakening. You are showing reverence and devoting yourself to God. I think that we have given you enough. My name is Anthony Abdomo, President and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association teaching you that no holding day cure is the name of God. Thank you very much. Hello girl, you're the prettiest girl that I've ever seen. Your face should be on a magazine. You are certainly a beautiful black queen. You have a wonderful sports car and a beautiful crib. It's wonderful the way that you live. You want to take me into your world. I know that you are a good church girl. It doesn't make 
sense to circumvent the direct road to enlighten a rubber booty girl. I can never take Born to church And put down the load of torture The little booty girl And you good church sister I have no problem With your religion I can't go I made up a religion The other booty girl And I'm proud to tell the world I pray every day Consistently I approach religion Intelligently I could never trade the law of the sutra Just to give myself a beautiful church Since I love Buddha God Being with you is a great compliment But I never do turn my world to light Time with the love of Buddha God And you a good church sister I could never trade the law of the church I could put down the law of the sutra The different that we face is not about God The different that we face is all about cause I believe in you don't make it all the way to the world I'm a Buddhist girl If you're a good church sister I can never pray for the church And put down the door to see the girl I'm a Buddhist girl I'm a Buddhist girl If you're a good church sister How can I pray for the church And put down the door to see the girl I'm a Buddhist girl